Well, howdy guys. We're back in the garage. Uh, got the wife's car back in here. Just got a little repair to do. And uh, try to make a little short video of this. She got some hinges on her back of her, her back hatch that gone bad. And I ordered up a set and we're going to put them on. Don't mind the dirt. Got to give her a bath. But as you can see, this uh, hinge is rotting away. It's just collecting moisture down in the bottom side. And this is pot metal. And it's just deteriorating. I, I did the exact same, had the exact same problem on my Ford uh, Explorer. And I replaced them. Uh, but exact same thing with the Explorer. The, the pass, or passenger side was shot, but the driver's side ain't too bad. But you know how that works out. If that one's going, this one won't be too far behind. So um, I'm going to show you how to go about it. We'll get the uh, tools together and we'll get back at it. Hey, with doing this job, all you really need to do is open the hatch. You don't need to open the whole back. Uh, you won't need to unplug the defroster wires because uh, you're only going to be doing one side at a time but once you release pop these off the pistons the, the hatch is going to want to drop so be ready for that uh, one support will not hold it up because that's why they got two on there but one just ain't enough so I'm going to set the camera up so I can use both hands and we'll start getting this apart. All you need to do is reach up to grab yourself a small screwdriver, reach up between the plate and the, the uh, piston rod and just slightly pry. These do have clips and etc. But all I do is pop off. I'm going to lower this down now. As you can see, if I let go, it wants to come down. So what I'm going to do is remove the other, other side and uh, remove both, both ends so I can work. I could probably just push this in and lay, uh, let it hang inside the car. But we'll just uh, take it completely off. And then what you're going to want to do, see, I took both of them off. It just wants to drop. You're going to want to shut the window and make sure it's locked. Next thing you're going to open up is the hatch. Because you're going to be needing to pop these plugs where the wires come through. Because that's where it is bolted to the hatch on both sides. All these are, are rubber plugs so you can just reach in by hand and work them off hopefully it looks like it's plastic underneath what do you know I will just pull that up and out of the way uh, and probably can't see it in the camera but right here is the bolt and the nut that holds the upper part of the hinge what I am gonna do first is I'm just gonna go in here and loosen that nut and I am using a 7 16 deep well quarter inch drive with an extension quarter inch ratchet You don't want to take it completely off. You want to loosen everything up first. That should be pretty good. Still got a lot of thread there. And this bolt goes through the glass. It's a Torx head. I have a Torx bit. Uh, don't have my glasses with me so I cannot really tell you what the size is. So 
see if I can. And she's stripped. Damn it. So this is where we're at. Uh, the Torx bit on the inside stripped. So uh, luckily that this was rotted enough to where I could come out and I can break this apart. I got this to lift up out of the way. But now this has to go through the glass. I chipped away. There's a little plastic cover that protects the steel against the glass that was on there. I broke that all away. I cleaned it up some and uh, shot some blaster down, some pedantritin in there. And what I was able to accomplish is get this to move. It's back and forth. I'm hoping to see if it will work its way loose to the point to where I can get it to go through the glass and I didn't bring my glasses so I can't really see if it is just needing some persuasion got that really loose now but it, this is like a a nut that they they press in to this pot metal and uh, so I'm hoping that I can get that come through but we'll go from there and uh, I'll keep working on it uh, you really probably can't see it, but I've been taking a screwdriver and chipping away around this little edge, uh, trying to um, make enough room that I can maybe get a bite on it. You can't get a bite on the bolt head on the inside. And uh, I tried a smaller Torx and it won't fit. It's just stripped out, like I said. Um, I'll just keep at it and figure something out. I did get it to where it will slide through the glass, but I, I got to chew away at some of this top part so you can see to get it to fit all the way through. It's not so. Figure something out there, maybe grab a file. What I had to do is I had to take a pair of pliers hold on to it and I took a file and I filed the sections that I needed it to get that go through the hole but uh, I'm going to th start with the installation of this hinge I ordered these hinges off of Amazon made by Fexon uh, part number X002 3KX585 and they, uh, I haven't opened this yet, but uh, a couple little bumpers or pads. That's the company. Uh, nicely packaged. And as you can see, it comes with a rubber pad on the uh, top side. New nut. Uh, bolt for the bottom with the plastic and the little wa uh, rubber washer that goes in, is through the glass so uh, I really really like that There's, there they'll be marked um, this is a left and a right so I'll show you how to install this one thing I did notice I was checking them both out that this nut is the one original or that came with the new um, hinge and the other one is the original from uh, the one I took off come on focus but uh, it's got a lot, a lot wider shoulder as you can see 
they're both the same thread pitch so I'm going to use the old one um, when you take that off you got to watch that whenever you do remove that nut that doesn't drop because it can drop down in here and then you're going to go fishing so when you go to put this on pull both the, the nut and the screw off and set the top hinge in position don't worry about the glass just yet we're going to go inside and we're going to tighten the to snug down the nut and just reach up around the top side to hold everything in place and get that nut started uh, Heck, you probably don't even need the wrench, but I grabbed it just in case. There, get rid of it. I'm just going to snug it down, and then from under here, you can look into the glass and see, and get everything lined up to where... The rubber, bush, the rubber bushing that's around the stud is through the glass. Then take your uh, new Allen cap, the bolt, I guess if you want to call it that. Take that and just try and get it this hand started. And again, I'm just going to hand tighten. Okay, and now what I want to do is I'm going to just to make sure everything's lined up, I'm going to move the camera back, shut the hatch, and see if it will operate as it should, and it's lined up. See, see how loose it is? That's why I was saying I want to make sure everything is going to work correctly so I'm going to go back in I'm going to tighten on the top side and snug this up a little further I got back in there tightened both of those this this one's need a little bit more the bottom side uh, yes it's working perfectly it's all lined up and it doesn't feel like nothing's loose so eh, a little bit so I will definitely need to tighten that bottom section And make sure that top one is okay. Yeah, there we go, no movement. And on this side, this is just a rubber boot that you can grab hold of and pop out of there. There's your stud for the hit top of the hinge. The wires in the way for the defroster, but let's loosen that up and knock on wood that this side will come out and I won't strip that stupid stud. I'm just easing into it. Yes, she is turning, which is good because I did put blaster on it. Nice. I'm going to remove this one completely. And this bracket you can see it's moving because they use a double-sided tape over here 
but that hole is for the bracket to hold the wiring. So I'm gonna remove that one. Like I said before, move that up out of the way, maybe a little bit. Don't want to break it. You want to make sure you don't drop that nut. reaching in there to keep hold of it and there it is and then just reach up on the other side and pull the old one out as you can see there's that plastic cover I was telling you about I don't know why it doesn't want to focus but we'll get the other one in and this side I already started the nut on it and I want to make sure that the upper part is feeding completely through. But I mean, I'm, I'm holding the hinge from the top side. And we'll get that nut started. Just get it down to where she's snug because you want to line everything up. Don't tighten everything down right off the bat. You'll know when she's seated. So, yeah, I, I was wiggling the hinge from up top. I'm going to tighten this one down like the last time. And then tighten down the other the nut. And then I'm going to shut the hatch and test. Does it move? Everything's looking good. So we will go and put that plug back in. Easy peasy. Get the wire rerouted where it was. And now we will shut the hatch and put the, the, the struts back on. And all you need to do just pop them back on the ball. You can raise your hood, your hatch glass high enough to where it will line up. Give her a squeeze. Do the same with the other side. See what I'm saying? One will not hold it. So if your glass Go to lift your hatch and your glass won't stay up. One of them is bad, or both. So your your best bet would be to buy both. But there you go. Fixed. Looks a lot better. Now the time to clean that back window will give the whole car a bath. And there you go. A little bit of trouble with the first one, 
but that's to be expected and second one went on pretty pretty quickly so the uh, hinges they were 36 bucks so you really can't go wrong yeah they're probably Taiwanese but hey you know if they last another 10 years that'll work fine with me so if you like my video go ahead and give me a thumbs up not the finger click that subscribe button the little bell icon click that that lets you know whenever I post another video go ahead and leave a comment or suggestion down below and we will see you in the next one bye